Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we are back in the Glassite Tunnels, and my goodness do we have a lot of progression to go over. Basically, we're going over right from where we left off yesterday. Quite early into the update, exploring things, checking out the new resources on the main server, and then I hit the grind. And uh, I mined for probably like 19 hours total since yesterday's video, including a mining fiesta, which I stopped for that video coming hopefully soon. But um, I'm really excited for today's video. This update's been super fun and we have a ton of progression to do from higher the mound levels, skyblock levels, just everything in between. If you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump right into the new update. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking out on the Hypixel store for the brand new Harvester Fermento Fire Sale skin or what's remaining, don't forget to use my creator code on checkout. It is code Zach spelled just like my name, Z A C H. You type that in on checkout and you will actually save 5% on your purchase on the Hypixel store. It's a great way to support myself in the channel. You can pick up some cool in game cosmetics or booster cookies or even the seasonal bundles over at Taylor's shop. But either way, I do greatly appreciate everyone who uses my creator code. Seriously, you guys are amazing. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So, quick little update to start today's video off. Just found a mine shaft, went through, found some corpses, and I actually just got a glassite amalgamation from from one of my corpses in this lobby which is kind of insane as well as we actually just leveled up if i scroll up a little bit there we go level 405 so we are progressing quite well i'd say uh had all my commissions to hand in as well have a new batch but yeah so far things are going really well obviously just working on getting as many resources as possible while doing commissions trying to get mine shafts get the suspicious scraps something i also have to claim actually if we go into my bestiary menu is bestiary milestone 290 this one actually gives me 10 skyblock xp so actually i should probably go and claim this in the crimson isle so let me go and leave this mine shaft really quickly make sure i get my uh glass eye powder there we go 2 xp towards the next level already let's go warp isle and i'll probably just slap it onto my owl pet that's the one that's kind of getting closest to leveling up slash be Go and claim the milestone. A million combat XP, 10 skyblock XP. There we go. And our owl leveled up. You love to see it. Okay, so after 299 commissions, this should be our 300th. And it should be Heart of the Mountain 8. There it is. 180 skyblock XP is actually kind of insane. Also, someone got a mine shaft, But that actually gives us two more tokens of the mountain that we can now start using on some of the Heart of the Mountain 8 perks. So... Uh, first and foremost, I should actually probably run around and, uh, are there any corpses in here? Ooh, just the Vanguard corpse. Okay, it's just this one. I'm not, I'm not missing on too much, but I will get my loot share from the mobs really quickly. But I think I'm going to go with the Cold Resistance perk, as well as the perk that gives you a higher chance to find scrap. I think those are by far going to be the most useful at Heart of the Mountain 8. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, increase your chance to find sus suspicious scrap of mining in the Glassite Mineshaft. We'll do that one. And then cold resistance, I think, is also the move. So let's go ahead and do those. I care more about the scrap than the cold resistance. So we'll just... Can I actually max this, max this right off the bat? I'll be... No, I, I don't think so. We can get decently far, though. And we still have 39k. So we can dump that over here into cold resistance. And these should help a decent amount. So that will increase our chances of finding a suspicious scrap by 15% already, which is really good. Let's see if we can actually put it to the test. Can we get lucky right off the bat? Uh, they are quite rare, suspicious scraps are, so, and so far I'm at 20, uh, which isn't terrible for the entire grind to Heart of the Mountain 8. We now basically have to start up the grind to Heart of the Mountain 9, which is also, um, very long and tedious, and then we still have Heart of the Mountain 10, but we're getting there, so one tier at a time, and, uh, yeah, so far so good. Okay, the commissions have continued. We are now up to 25% to Heart of the Mountain 9, 25% exactly, actually, so that's about uh a hundred and something commission since i hit heart of the mountain eight making pretty solid progress we're also up to 475 glass eye powder which isn't too bad but when i think about having to go for 20 mil uh, i get a little bit sad but it is what it is we're up to 22 suspicious scraps five glass eye shards i got this glass eye amalgamation from a corpse earlier i think i mentioned what no way that's real please Okay, it just wasn't updated. Oh my goodness. For a second, I thought I was wearing a piece of Lowe's equipment for the last 10 hours. I've been playing for over 10 hours straight today. And the day I'm recording this, uh, I have a mining fiesta tonight. Um, so that's great. Um, that's It's it's a long day of mining for your boy. I can't lie. But it, it is what it is. You know, I, I know what I signed up for. Got to make sure I get my, uh, my um, kill assist for the beast jury. And now we're looking around for the corpse. None this way. Let's go this way here. Up these little steps. 
running around with the whole party. Uh, not here. Where is this thing? Where's this? Oh, is it up top here? It's actually not. What? Where is this corpse? We're all confused. Uh, there's one back here. I don't, that's not the one I need, though. Oh, here he is. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, also, 9,200 powder. You love to see it. Someone got 20k. That must be nice. But a bunch of aquamarine in here. But uh, I will cut back in a second because I'm actually going to do a little searching for a piece of suspicious scrap. It's not guaranteed, but uh, I like to think I get lucky once in a while. So hopefully I can get one from this lobby at least. But I want to head over to the forge because I actually just hit tungsten and umber collection 5. Which uh, doesn't sound like much, but it's 100,000 of each collection. It's taken me a while, about 10 hours of commissions actually, to uh, to get that. So we're going to head over to the forge because I should now be able to actually forge up refined tungsten and umber. Which is uh, very needed for like tungsten plates, umber plates, and a bunch of other crafts that we have coming our way. We actually got our suspicious scrap as well. You'll love to see it. Um... Anything I actually need from here? Onyx, Citrin, Umber, and I need to discover my own mine shaft. I think we're all good to head out of this mine shaft, and let's head right over to the forge. But man, this update has actually been so much fun. It's such a good time to be a Skyblock player right now with all the updates on the horizon. I'm, I'm so hyped. But I did actually put my travel scroll to the Dwarven base camp in the forge about uh, almost five hours ago now. And for that, it required a flawless Onyx, 16 enchanted pearls, and 500,000 coins. So not too bad. Uh, I have a couple things here. I don't know what those are going to be. Probably the plates, maybe? Um, if No, those should be on the other side, right? They should be over here. They are. Okay, so I don't know what those are going to be, but we do actually have the capabilities now to make refined umber and refined, tit and refined tungsten. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the other things we actually unlocked in our forge. The dwarven ham warmers. Um, I don't think these are any good. I'm going to be honest. The cold resistance might be worth it, but the, I'm pretty sure these are worth worse than a glowstone gauntlet. So not going to be rocking that. The chisel is one we're going to have to do. Uh, I'm not going to go for this yet either. Neither. Same with this. Definitely not this. Uh, don't really see a use to that, to be honest. The dwarven metal talisman. This we need, which is four umber plates, four tungsten plates. That's going to be pretty pricey. But we actually need to start getting ready for this first upgrade to our chisel. So two tungsten plates and two umber plates. So how do you make a tungsten plate and an umber plate exactly? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, tungsten key, tungsten plate. Oh my god, level 9 in the collection. I won't be able to get this for so long. But it's four refined of each and a glassite amalgamation. I'm assuming the same on each side. It is. Um, for the keys, it's one of each. So I'm, I'm just going to need a ton of these. So I'll, I'll try and start two of each if I can. Let's go ahead into our jam mining sack. How much do we actually have? Okay, we have a decent amount of umber and a decent amount of tungsten. Okay, we can actually definitely get two of each going. So let's get two refined tungstens going. These things take six hours. That is a little on the long side. How long does mithril take? Six hours. Okay, so not not terrible. Um, but let's let's try and just get a bunch of these forging up. Try and keep the forge full. And uh, while we do that, we just keep working towards the higher heart of the mountain level, more powder. And uh, yeah, I really want to focus on trying to get a better chisel as much as possible because it's not really worth using any suspicious scrap until you get like the best chisel, especially on Iron Man. These things are worth 6 million coins. Um, and on Iron Man, like uh, with a regular chisel, like the amount of clicks you have, if you have three uh, perfect aquamarine as well as the last upgrade chisel, you get 25 charges when you go in. With the basic chisel, you get 16. So yes, you can get a fossil, but you have to be like nearly perfect. And um, yeah, I just don't think uh, I'll be able to basically one tap a fossil out. And I don't really want to waste these things because they're very tedious to get. And I need to get every fossil twice. So it, it's not worth it because I'm not just going for like one quick thing. I need um, I need seven fossils twice. So it, it's going to be a little bit tedious, but it can be done. And uh, yeah, just, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to keep doing commissions, going into mine shafts, and hopefully leveling up to Heart of the Mountain 9 at some point but i also have a mining fiesta at the time recording this in like three hours it starts at midnight so that's gonna be that's gonna be real fun getting a bunch of things done uh it is now the next morning and um during this video like oh my the amount of mining that i've done for this video is like honestly kind of gross um obviously i mined for a long while yesterday right now it is well the day you guys are seeing this so right after the update but I mined from the launch of the update, which was, I don't know, let's say it was comfortably re fully released at like 11 a.m., right? I feel like that's like a safe time to stay. 
Um, I mined from then until 5.05 a.m. yesterday uh, because I did, I did do the mining fiesta and I also did do the last one in case you're wondering. Don't worry. That footage will uh, will come out soon once uh, update hype dies down and progress slows down a little bit for the update. But you guys will see uh, two mining fiestas. And um, yeah, it went really well. Shout out to everyone who came to the island last night. You guys will be in that video whenever it does see the light of day. But it's the next morning now, 11 a.m. again, and we are mining once again. Just, um, yeah, ridiculous amounts of mining, going to be honest. Like, oh, uh, man, it, it's brutal because like, I knew I had to do the mining fiesta and like we had the mining update. So it was just it's just been nonstop mining. And um, yeah, made a lot of progress. Also, pretty sure I've gone up like over 100 million mining XP, which is like in since the update came out, which is like insane right like so that that's kind of crazy but uh yeah has to get done it just has to and um i have a bunch of things that i actually kind of want to talk about really quickly one is that we are currently a little over halfway to heart of the mountain nine and i just did my four daily commissions so those gave like an extra thousand um or so um uh, Heart of the mountain xp each which is great so i will happily take those it was like doing two commissions per plus a little extra on the side so I will happily take that. Um, one thing I did do, though, I filled up my forge yesterday. Um, I can't remember if I showed that or not. We had the the travel scroll as well as two refined umber and two refined tungsten running. And then before I got off for the night after the mining fiesta, I actually went ahead and put in uh, some more stuff into the forge. So once I finish this mine shaft, I will go ahead and head over to the forge and show you guys. And we can also finally go ahead and claim our travel scroll and actually get our 15 skyblock XP for that. And just have the warp, which is just nice all around. So I'm, I'm actually very, very excited for that. And no keys, no lapis zombies or lapis bodies for me in this lobby. That's unfortunate. These guys have keys. I don't know if they have keys yet. See, these guys are all... Everyone in this party is hard to mount in except for me. I'm kind of missing out, which is, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, these guys have been going crazy since the update came out. And now they're all just powder grinding and looking for scrap and the pets and crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and actually look for a um, a sh or scrap. And then uh, let's head over to the forge. Okay, so we're over here at the forger. And last night I threw in another two refined tungsten, a refined umber, and a glassite amalgamation. Um, these aren't too bad to get. The glassite amalgamation is just some of the gemstones, two stacks of enchanted glassite. Not terrible at all either. And then the travel scroll. How is this thing worth 20 mil? I, I guess just the forge time, right? Um, but let's go ahead and grab all that stuff out. There we go. We're looking pretty good. Um, I also totally misbalanced. I was trying to have it be four and four, but clearly that's not how it, how it happened at all. Uh, I don't know how I miscounted that. That's what happens when you put stuff in the forge at like 5.30 AM or something. But we have our travel scroll to the Dwarven base camp, which is going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and claim this. There we go. You consume the scroll and it should give me 15 skyblock XP. So we should be up to 80 out of a hundred. Uh, we'll swap lobbies in a sec to make sure that actually updates, but I may as well get some more of these going. Um, I'm almost out, actually, now that I look at it. So let's try and do two of these. That'll put me up to five of each. Do I have enough for this? I don't have enough for more of those. I have enough for one more of those. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's what we can put in the forge for now. I should probably make some more glass amalgamations. Uh, let me look at some forge stuff. What am I actually going for here? I'm going for this, right? Two tungsten plates, two armor plates. Okay, I actually need eight of each. Huh. Wait, let's see. Um, collection, mining, tungsten, plate. There is a glass eye amalgamation. I do have those two glass eye amalgamations, though. What's the... What, is there something else in the forge I should really be going for right now? I mean, these. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for these at the same time, so... Hmm... Yeah, more glass eye amalgamations wouldn't hurt. I need eight more for this. I have two for the chisel, and I'm getting more in the future. I, I'm getting a ton more, so who am I kidding? I just need to get these things going basically as much as possible. Let's go into our gemstone sack, swap this over to fine, grab out like a stack of each of those, and let's go ahead and get two more glass eye amalgamations on the go. There we go. Got to keep the forge busy as much as I can. And in the meanwhile, I just do some hard in the mountain XP tasks and uh, try and level up. But let's actually go back to the island quick. I want to see the XP update. Are we at 80 out of 100? We are. Beautiful. So we should be back to being completely done with the travel scrolls, which we are. That's perfect. 
and uh yeah that's awesome you love to see it also there's only 27 minutes left on my fuels but i think i got absurdly lucky yesterday there is uh no vertexes to be seen and honestly less chili peppers as well so uh i i think i just happened to get lucky and it supported the netherwart dislet theory but i'm i'm 99 sure that doesn't work anymore i know it used to work at some point but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be switching back to Gabagool Dislet. Otherwise, I just can't keep these minions going. But man, did we ever get lucky yesterday. It was it was beautiful. I really wish I had more time for today. It's it's crazy that like, I mean, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but this is like, I mean, I mined for so freakishly long yesterday. And I've already been back online for like an hour today, just doing some commissions, working towards Heart of the Mountain 9. And obviously, we're going to continue doing that in tomorrow's video. Let me know in the comments down below, though. How do you guys feel about this update? Me personally? I, I love it. I, I honestly do. I think this update is beyond solid and um, yeah, just it is like the definition of a late game mining area. And there's a lot of things that we're hunting for, such as all those new pets, which I'm very, very excited to hopefully get my hands on. I also found out that they are a seven day forge time each. So um, it's, it's going to be a while till we start seeing some of those pets, especially in our pets menu. But either way, uh, just making progress towards the best chisel and then hopefully good Heart of the Mountain um, like perks that actually like there's one at Heart of the Mountain 10 that increases your chance of a suspicious scrap having a fossil in it. So like all those things are going to be super useful in Iron Man so that we can actually get our hands on those. Uh, I mean, 14 fossils that we need to get so uh yeah just really been enjoying the update i think it's been a lot of fun um it's also been like encouraging playing with others like the area is so big that everyone can kind of just mine at their own pace and then like warping each other into each other's mine shafts like doing bestiary getting the corpses together like it's very community focused at the same time like i haven't been able to play with like our whole guild like this in so long so it, it's been really refreshing and I think they kind of rent, went on the right path with this. I also think there's a bunch of other stuff they can add to this area. Like this area has like so much potential, such as this giant pond in front of me. And we have two brand new fishing pets. Like those should definitely be useful in here, you know? So uh, hopefully we can see like a mini fishing update in here too at some point in Glassite Tunnels V2, which I, I feel like I saw them comment on somewhere like that there's there's more that they want to add, but this is what they had, or this was like enough for them to release it. And then eventually we'll get kind of like a, a little mini update to this area. But I, I really like this area. I think it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Heart of the Mountain grinding has been kind of chill again too. Been having a lot of fun with it, even though it's just repetitive tasks. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's something about it. Like I went to bed quite satisfied with like my playtime, you know, like finding fiestas and I mean, obviously doing all the commissions and working towards like all these different things and the Skyblock XP. Oh my goodness, the Skyblock XP, man. We went from level 401 when the update dropped. We're very close to hitting level 410 and uh, that is nowhere close to where we'll end up. Like there's so much XP in this update for us to go ahead and grab. It's, it's genuinely amazing. So yeah, I, I think this update is really, really solid overall. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying the um, Glassite Tunnels content as well. And uh, what parts of the update do you guys really want me to show? I'm going to do my best to show the entire Iron Man progression, basically, through the Glassite Tunnels. So if you're working your way through, if you basically just replicate what I'm doing, you sh you'll get somewhere. Uh, who knows if this will be outdated in a couple months and not efficient or whatever. But at the time being, this seems to be the strat, honestly, like doing these commissions like this and... Um, yeah, definitely prioritizing Heart of the Mountain 10, I think is very, very important. And then we'll jump into the powder grind and obviously suspicious scrap working towards getting that better chisel. And we just have a lot of fun stuff ahead of us. So, uh, it's been really cool having this much, this much progression to do in such a short period of time, I think is also the most fun. But um, yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of the update in the comments down below. Either way, unfortunately, I think that's where I'm going to have to call it. I'm fortunately out of the time after doing the mining fiesta last night. waking up a little bit later today than I normally like to. But thank you so much for watching today's video all the way to the end. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach when checking out on that Hypixel store to save 5% on your purchase. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.